Hello my soccer universe, for the final video of the 23-24 Austria Bundesliga season, let's wrap it all up, the playoffs are in the books, Austria Vienna, the first time that an 8th place team will qualify for the Conference League of the Aust Austrian League, have made it, kind of salvaging a bad season for them, and they're hoping now that at least a little bit more income is coming their way, so we'll talk about this playoff and how Austria Vienna made it, because it was not straightforward and I'm not sure how overall it was deserved if I think about it uh, this way. But you know, we'll talk about that. And then I want to look at every team's performance this year. Uh, I don't necessarily want to t-shirt grades, but we can see how did their season go, where did it go wrong. And then at the end I also want to look which team should be crowned the relative champions. What do I mean by relative? The champions that based on their own ability over or underperform. So who is the biggest over and under and underperformer? Because absolutely, Sturm Graz won. They have the most points. So that comes at the, at the end of the video. But first, let's talk uh, the playoffs. Uh, the playoffs is this weird system in Austria where, uh, you know, we decide the last playoff spot by having the fifth place team this season. It depends on how many European spots and how the cup winner falls in Austria. Uh, so in this case, the fifth place team is waiting for the winner of a one-legged playoff between number seven at home to number eight and number six. So the sixth place team, uh, that was the last place team in the championship round, does not get anything. And I don't think it's really fair. Uh, in any case, be it as, as may, Austria Vienna were probably overall the better team. It was an even game and Meisel gave them an early lead after Fitz corner. Uh, and then, you know, it was going up and down. It was not a great game. Uh, when Boakchi gave them the equalizer, it was all headed to overtime. Yes, Aslani, there was an offset goal there that, that, that wasn't given, but then there was a, a in stoppage time. An attack by Wolfsburg going four, four, four forward that turns into a counter chance for Aus Aus Austria where Fitz has the ball just past midfield and he sees that the uh, Wolfsburg goalie was slipping and he rolls it in from a uh, big distance. It was a really, really odd goal to con concede. And Austria Vienna are in the playoff finals. Two-legged affair against Hartberg. First leg. I think Austria Vienna probably should have gotten a penalty in the first half. Uh, and they were largely the better team. It was right after the halftime break that the, team, uh, that the match really turns towards Austria Vienna. When James Holland, uh, in one of his last games for Austria Vienna, the last one at, at home, uh, takes a volley just from the edge of the, of the box and beautifully goes in. I think it was in the 500th goal of this Bundesliga season and a couple of minutes later as a penalty given away after VAR review yeah I think it was one but it was one of those you know a foot where it shouldn't be and the player whatever Fitz converts it's 2 for us to us as a Trivena but Hartberg didn't uh, let, let, let up uh, they could not play Maxi Entrup uh, from from beginning he came on for, for the second half had a pretty big chance but he also converted then one in the 84th to keep the game game alive and Hartberg were pushing you could see that Austria Vienna was very very leggy after having already or already played in midweek whereas uh, Hartberg was a little bit more they probably should have gotten out of it with, with, with a draw but everyone said ah and Hartberg will turn it around and they should have turned it around uh Entrup has one major chance where he rounds the goalie and then he's slipping and puts it against the post because he uh, lost the rhythm there. Uh, there were a few more other chances. Then again, it's James Holland with another shot from the edge of the box that gives Austria Werner the lead. And then while Austria Werner does, doesn't do much offensively any, 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 anymore, they do enough defensively. Hartberg barely have chances. I think they hit one more time the woodwork. But that was it and they more or less saw it out and Austria Vienna is back in conference league qualifying but they start in qualification round two last time around. Uh, you also see here on the slide that uh, GAK from the other Graz team finally got promoted after starting in the eighth tier uh, <laughs> a, um, a bit more than a decade to get to go there now back in the big time uh, so that's a very traditional club. It's technically a new club based on an old club but um, it's great to see this club back. Uh, it also adds red to the color palette of the Bundesliga. Okay, with all that in books, let's look at the overall picture. We see here the final standings. Sturm Graz being the champions, also winning the cup. Salzburg finishing in second place. They go into Champions League qualification in the third round, thanks to Atalanta 
finishing in the top four. Otherwise, they would have started in the second qualification round. Uh, we have also that Lask is going to the playoff for the Europa League, so they have a group stage uh, for sure. West Rapid win is in the Europa League second qualifying round. Uh, yes, you have to win a few rounds, but I think a group stage, at least Conference League for Rapid, is not unlikely. Drone is need, this needs to go their way at Austria Vienna. Goes in the second qualification round for the Europa Conference League or the new Conference League. I have to say that Austria Vienna probably will not make it. That's my uh, hunch. Although as it would be really important that, Aus that Austria, the league, is getting more points because at at, at the moment you have already have lost uh, I think three spots in the overall ra uh, ranking uh, from. 10th to 13 and this is propped up by a great 21-22 season where Salzburg made it to the round of 16 in the Champions League and Lusk actually roamed through the Conference League group stage uh, which got a lot of points. More of that is needed otherwise Austria will lose the fifth Euro, uh, Euro, 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 Euro European spot which you know then the coefficient is divided, every win is divided not by five, but by four, which actually might ease it up, uh, up again. But it would be great, to be honest, uh, to get two teams into the conference league that can get some points, at least. This is what I'm hoping for. Relegated is Austria Lustenau, promoted, as we already said, is uh, GAK. Uh, before we look at the relative the ratings, and you can already guess them to the, with the points here on the right, I want to run very quickly here through all the 12 teams. You see always on the left how the expected points total for them developed over the season. And then to the right, how their overall rating in my model developed in, in, in this season. So we start here at Austria Lustenau. And you can see it was just a downturn. I mean, uh, they very safely made it into an eighth spot last season. This season, it was horrific. They did not get a win until the first match of this year. It was all down, 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 down. They got it together thanks to, to, to the format. Uh, they managed to get enough uh, points to maybe stay in the running by the end. They needed three wins. They didn't get it. They were always a team that should have gotten relegated. Tirol... Um, Major point is that Thomas Silverberg, after 13 years, stepped down. He brought them relatively early to safety. The disappointment is that the season tailed off a little bit. Uh, it was an up and down season. Uh, they were always kind of in reach of Lustenau for most of the, of the time. They had then a good start to the qualification round. But in the end, they finished where they finished the reg re re regular season. Over a little bit disappointing. Tirol is one of those teams that I have the feeling might be one of the prime... Uh, Cancaners of getting relegated next season. Altach, a season that started promising, and I always feel this Altach team can do more than just finish in 10th spot. However, goal scoring lets them down, and you see a good start to the season, then it went really, really bad, and then it went up and down also in the qual qualification round. In the end, they were the last team that Lustener could have caught. Blau Weiss uh, had a, actually a very respectable promotion season it has to be said at the, at the beginning completely outclassed by, by better points but then they shorted it up a little bit more uh got a little bit more sound defensively and suddenly they got the wins and they got the wins against the big teams most notably of course away to Salzburg which no one expected and then also uh, they won a derby against Lusk uh, at home which was probably the highlight of the season um, then they went on a long losing streak uh, and just when you thought that they are the only team that Lustenau can catch, they put together a winning streak and in the end reached safety. Rally relative zone had even a shot at 8th spot. Did not get, get there thanks to a loss to last place Lustenau. But in the end, I think it was overall a very good, a respectable promotion season. And I think with the new stadium that they have, they really enriched the league as well. So as much as I can positively say about a city rival. Austria Vienna, uh, you see the start to the season, the expected points was really bad and this uh, was conditioning their over, over, over season. They did not get enough points to make it into the top six, which was their goal. Although I have a feeling they would have finished six there, if you were to ask me. Um, they almost made it in. I think if they would not have lost the derby, more on that in just in, in just, just a bit, they probably would have made it into the top. So Sigrid Rapid would have been down. Uh, they were seemingly then the class of the qualification round before there was a losing streak that got the coach sacked. In the end, four wins in a row. They go through a playoff, as we said. They reach Europe. So they salvage a 
I would say a D season, if you were to ask me. And of course, questions about the finances and so on, as always with Austria Vienna. Uh, Wolfsburg, also a season where I think they have more. They had with Borg Jim Ballo up front a really great attacking duo. It's just defensive with them on the south side of. And if you look, look at it, I mean, uh, very, very up and down. They end the season on a high, but then it was a low as well because they lost the semi final. Uh, so, yeah. Really hard, hard. I think there's potential for more. I mean, they their target was top six, maybe make it back to Europe where they uh, have made some noise, was not to be. Uh, Klagenfurt making it into the top six comfortably in the end, honestly, uh, is a major achievement. This is a club that got promoted three uh, three years ago and now three times in a row they made it in the top six despite having severe financial re restrictions. There will be many contracts that have ended. At least the coaching staff under Peter Parkhold is holding on. Yes, in the in the championship round, you finish last and more or less dead last, but you also had a major contribution to Sturm Graz's title by beating Salzburg 4-3 at home after being 2-0 down at the half. This was the highlight of the season and being safe once again, I think it was a really, really good season overall. Hartberg uh, were amazing in fall. So safe in fourth spot, even pushing for third at times. Uh, was really, really great season that then in championship round, especially with the start, did not work out the out at well. Some results did, didn't go their way. In the end, you finish fifth. That should be enough for Europe. Losing the playoff final, I still think they were overall the better team. As we said, did not work out still. Really good, good season. However, for Hartberg, the big uh, question is, as always, the stadium question. Because they are borrowed time. If they cannot resolve that one, they will not be allowed to play in the Bundesliga. Repeat, <clears throat> up and down. Either they score a lot in one game, or they don't score a score at all and lose it. Highlight of the season and low light at the same time. Uh, was the derby win at home, finally the win at derby at home and then all hell broke loose with homophobic and misogynistic and all kinds of chants at the city rivals. It was not, that kind of cost them in, in the end. Uh, and yes, Coach Kraus came in after Barisic was fired where the results were kind of so and so. It was also not really, um, I'd say, a coaching change that I fully understood. I guess they played a little bit better, but then once they played Sturm Graz three times in a row, add to that the 5-0 loss at home to Lusk, which is my personal season highlight, uh, it all came off and then you just make it over the line. So again, another of these seasons where, yeah, you reach kind of European target, but I think Rapid has potential for a whole lot more. Lusk, if you look at the expected points, this is where I'm most lo looking at. Um, it was a very comfortable uh, fall, especially at, uh, when, if you consider that at the beginning they did not play well. But then you beat Austria uh, Wien and then it all came together. You got some big wins at home, um, away to Salzburg, at home to Sturm Graz and so on. Uh, you did perform well, although it got two little points in Europe. I think you should have gotten at least a point out of Toulouse at home and at saint gilles away. You would have been in the, in the running there. You played against Liverpool. It all was looking good. And then you lose the first game of the new year against Salzburg in, in the Cup, which was the only meaningful game, although you were largely a better team. And then it you made it over the line. I mean, yes, you finished third there, but you barely made it over, over the line. Instead of pushing for the top two, you were more falling to the bottom two. Coach Sagita gets sacked. And then I have to say, I didn't understand the sacking and I sometimes wish that this club would put a little bit more trust into their coaches. However, under Coach Dardos, you got a coach that I not only like the way he speaks and has the outlook of life and you know that he wants to bring joy in it. Whereas with Coach Sage, that always seemed, um, you know, a little bit tense over, over, overall. And you got a great run together. Uh, again, highlight 5 0 at home to Rapid. Uh, the end of the season, yeah, the last game of the season is one that. I'm absolutely not proud, proud of, but it was kind of reflective of the entire season. There were some really, really good times, but there were also some really, really bad and awful stuff. So very middling season overall. 
you reach your goal so there you go salzburg not a good season not a good season you're not champions you didn't win any titles for the first time in 10 years um yes you lost coach jasle at the beginning of the season replaced him it seemed to be going well and then you know european stuff took took the toll sturm was sticking up 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 there uh but seemed at first not to be quite quite ready you finish relative comfortable on top of the regular season you beat sturm graz in the first in the first game back from the last international break you had a five point gap and you let it all slide you let it all slide it all went your way losses to uh last losses to um Klagenfurt away as we said also lost to Rapid uh it was just too too much and yes you win the head-to-head -head against Sturm Graz but um and yes you had a push lay lay it on but I think Sturm Graz fully deserved winning this title and that leaves us with Sturm Graz the champions the deserved champions yes uh they were probably in the regular season all the second best team in Austria but they put a run together they were five points behind Salzburg that should be the death knell in, in a way, but they put a run, the run together. They probably should have even beaten Salzburg away, away from home, and in the end, you were hanging on. And if they would have lost that one, we know that Salzburg would have won it. And yes, they had then at the end some results where they just, just about got it over the line. But they got it over the line. And yes, the format was a little bit in their favor, but take nothing away. They won the cup, they had the most uh, games of any Aust Austria team because they also played in the Europa and in the Conference League. Europa League probably I would have expected at least a couple of points more similar with Lusk. Conference League they survived one round and then got even a point of little. So I think it's over quite good. Uh, Sturm Graz's season is probably the only one that can be really judged as a success without a doubt. But Let's go back to uh, the season summary. Who is the relative champion? And you see Sturm Graz, yeah. If I take the points that, they that I would have expected preseason against all the opponents that they have, have, have played and compare with the points that they have gained, 44 is the best. Hartberg is the sec second best. I would say Hartberg uh, is definitely in the B category. There, uh, and then, you know, Lusk, I also would kind kind of say there. You see, Wolfsburg did quite well in these calculations. I don't really include the playoff because it's hard to judge this. And you know, also in these calculations, the regular season only counts for a half. That's why you see Klagenfurt relatively low. Uh, you also see that Austria Vienna is only in 10th place here. Yeah, but they salvaged the season. So it is for other seasons. And when we do the Serie A review, it will be easier to judge this. For the Austrian season, I have a little bit of a difficulty. However, I'm quite confident of saying Sturm Graz did the best overall and Hartberg being the in second place. I'm also very comfortable with that despite them losing the playoff final. Klagenfurt is hurting because they lost the many games in the championship. Other than that, I think Klagenfurt did really, really, really well. Any case, that ends the Austrian club season. Video. Let me know what you want to see more from me from the Austrian Bundesliga. It was the 50th season. Salzburg is dethroned. And my team got what it set out to do. There was potential for more, but it could have been gotten worse as well. Any case, subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.